Marine seismic surveys are commonly used by companies like Woodside when exploring for oil and gas in offshore waters and planning the development of discovered oil and gas reservoirs. Oil and gas, collectively called hydrocarbons, are created through natural processes. Algae, microscopic animals and plant materials settle at the bottom of ancient lakes and oceans and are buried deep into the earth by sands and sediments over millions of years. Heat and pressure from the weight of layers on top release hydrocarbons from the sediments, which are trapped underground in what's called a reservoir. Seismic surveys help identify where these reservoirs are located. Woodside is Australia's largest independent oil and gas company, known for our world-class capabilities as an explorer, producer and supplier of energy. We have safely and successfully conducted seismic surveys for over 40 years, offshore Australia and internationally. The most common survey method today is three-dimensional seismic surveys that collect a volume of data within a chosen area. These can vary in size from just a few hundred square kilometres to over 10,000 square kilometres and, depending on the size, can take up to six months to complete. Woodside undertakes months of survey design and logistical planning, applying international standards and best practice to ensure survey operations are conducted safely, with minimal impacts to the environment and normal marine activities in the area. This includes consultation with stakeholders like local communities and fishers to avoid or minimise potential impacts to their activities. Seismic surveys are conducted by large purpose-built vessels with specialised equipment. The vessels travel at slow speeds, less than five knots, and tow a series of cables called streamers below the waterline at depths up to 20 metres. They contain sensitive microphones called hydrophones that capture the seismic data. Depending on the number used, the streamer array can span up to 2 kilometres in width and 8 kilometres in length. To collect seismic data, small bursts of compressed air are released into the water every 8 to 15 seconds from the sound source, creating low frequency sound waves that pass through the ocean floor and into underground rock formations. The sound waves reflect off the formations, back up to the water's surface where they are recorded by the hydrophones. For safety reasons, vessels not involved with the survey should stay at least 500 metres away from the seismic vessel and the towed streamers to prevent collisions. A tail buoy indicates the end of the streamers and once it passes, other marine users are generally free to resume normal activities. Support and chase vessels accompany the seismic vessel to warn other marine users that a survey is taking place. Trained marine mammal observers on board the seismic vessel record the presence of animals like whales, dolphins and turtles during daylight hours. The observers ensure no animals sensitive to low frequency sounds are nearby prior to starting the sound source and the source output is increased slowly to give the animals time to move away. Once a survey is complete, the recorded data is sent to computer processing centres where detailed subsurface images are created using specially designed software. Geoscientists use the processed images and original data to interpret the subsurface geology and identify areas where oil or gas reservoirs might be located. Interpretation can take 12 to 18 months depending on the amount of data collected and the complexity of the geology. If the data shows possible hydrocarbon reservoirs, an exploration well may be drilled to confirm the presence of oil or gas. Seismic data can also be used to better understand and manage reservoirs that have already been discovered. Seismic surveys are a vital part of exploring for oil and gas and developing and managing known reservoirs. Woodside is committed to conducting our seismic surveys in an environmentally and socially responsible manner.